Good evening everyone, I'm Nathan here with my wonderful wife Laura Hello And we're here to do a quick review of the Monopoly Brighton and we think it's Hove edition Yeah, if we pronounced that wrong, we're very very sorry uh, So this is another one of kind of more the souvenir type Monopolies uh, Maybe you visited Brighton Hove or maybe you live there that's why you might purchase this version. Um, yes, we actually did one of these not too long ago. Similar sort of thing, so we'll maybe put a link in it below if you want to see another well, it was, sort of location. It was last month, so the other one we did was Lancashire. So both of these were from um, not our country. No, <laughs> from British. From the UK, yeah. yeah. Uh, so there is the back. So we're just going to talk about what they've kind of changed for that particular area of the world. And yeah, on the back it just says more information about these particular locations. Yeah. yeah, so you can pause and read that if you would like. All right. um, these sort of touristy souvenir versions usually have the bare minimum changed. So if you're looking for like reviews of other monopolies that have everything in them changed, we've got a playlist. <laughs> yeah, so we have obviously the instructions here. If these I play the same way as regular Monopoly, I think so we're not going to go into gameplay in this video. Nope, apart from the start, which has got game history about the actual location, um, then it's just the same. Yep. So you watch the same, pretty much everything except just the names and locations. Mm -hmm. um, some of our things have escaped, but oh, no. we do have a little Monopoly container. I don't know whether you can see it actually does say Monopoly there. That's uh, for us to keep all of our houses and hotels, which are standard houses and hotels in. Oh. Then we have under here all of the pieces. And they're bog standard. I believe this is well before when they introduced like the cat and all the other ones. So you've got all the yeah, a little bit of an older iron version. thimble, battleship, top hat. So no cat, um, no dinosaur, no. <laughs> none of those. So bog standard. Yep. Um, are they light? I can't remember. No, they're they're fairly standard. Oh, they're, they're not as heavy as some, but yeah, reasonable. They're not plastic. They are metal ones, so that's nice. Right. To see. Where are the cards hiding? I've got the cards. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, like, I've already taken them out. <laughs> Shall we show the board first? Yeah. So how about we just move this over the way so we can bring this open. So with this edition you've got your same standard four corners like free parking, go, go to jail and of course the jail itself. The main things have changed are the properties and the middle of the board as you can see there. Presumably this is like a kind of skyline sort of, of view of something in the area of Brighton if, and Hove. Hopefully we're pronouncing it if right. I'm sorry, but not. <laughs> anyone's visited or lived there, let us know because obviously it's not somewhere we've been, as we've mentioned. Yeah. All right. So we're just going to sort of go around here. So you can see each of the properties is something local to that area. I believe the values are all the same as like a regular sort yeah, of version. Yeah, so like apart from just the things, the values and all that are all the same. Um, they also have on like the community chest and tax, for example, um, something to do with that area as well. It might be like a business or inland revenue, I guess, so, something to do with tax. So like, like you said, a tourism advertisement exactly. sort of thing. It's, it's pretty cool, especially if you've like Monopoly and you visited there. Playaday.com. Unleash the fun in your family. There you go. Uh -huh. okay. I have no idea what this is, or even if it's still <laughs> active anymore. <laughs> no. Um, if you are in this particular area of the world, let us know whether any of these things are still around. Because I think this edition isn't modern. No. Um, it's the 90s, I think. Um, as you can see, obviously, the railway stations have also been named to look. Uh, 2003, ones. I can see the copyright on part of this board. Ah. I was a little bit early saying that. So I was just under 20 years old. So all of the like chants and community chests all have the same thing under them, like the same logo. Coming around. Mm -hmm. Waterworks doesn't have anything though. That's interesting. The um, the energy provider, Seaboard Energy. Yeah, had a company, but maybe they don't have a oh, Waterworks or just, maybe the water company in the area didn't want to be involved. Just going back to electricity, that looks like the Internet Explorer logo. <laughs> okay. Alright, so past, go to jail, oh. come around here. Well, the community chest has... In the I was revenue. saying they were all the same, but they're not, so the chances are all the same. Community chest has the revenue on this one, but the Argus on um, the yeah, other one. Yeah, and at, at the top here, near the orange property, it's different as well. Oh, there you go. Well, my bad. So the chances are the same, but the community chests are King's not. Road Royal Pavilion. And you've got the bank deposit there that doesn't have anything either. Which are, it just functions as the tax. Yeah. Uh, so the cards are still just chance and community chest as well. And then let's pull these out. So you've got the 
community chest cards there and then somewhere in here chance cards very different making them bright red and bright blue very easy to determine which one's which oh these. bank air in your favor pay hospital you might notice that most of these are the same this one's obviously just changed to you know from inland revenue instead of whatever it was before which i can't recall off the top of my head mm -hmm. um, the majority of them are the same as a standard monopoly there are a few that are different of course so i'll just kind of flick through i don't so remember can... that one uh, well, at least not for us. So this, this is a UK monopoly. And obviously we're in Australia, so we're more used to sort of Australian versions, but mm -hmm. I'd say probably 90% of these cards, even if the flavor text is different, the outcome is still the same. Yeah, like same values and things like that. Here. Yep. Yep. So see, the bare minimum has been done and changed. It's just a nice sort of uh, souvenir. I mean, this one obviously has like the specific location because it references one in the card. I think that's all the way back around, and then chance, chance, um, crossroad competition. Oh. Make three spaces. Yeah, you go so to again, jail. Same sort of thing. Mostly standard. Drunk couple in charge. Of slightly different ones, at least for us anyway. You can let us. Cool. You can let us know whether this is a common one. Um, it's not a common one in the editions of Monopoly I don't that are released that here. One. <laughs> no. Speeding. Neither is that one actually. No. Okay, most of them again are. I'll just go through, so if you want to see kind of the mix, you can. I can't remember where I started, though, now that I've said this that. This was supposedly a limited edition, so I wonder how long it was sold for and where it was sold. Like, information desks or, like, the centre of the city? I don't know. I'm not sure. And then we have, obviously, the properties. They have, obviously, the mortgage amounts mm -hmm. and things like that. Very standard in that sense. And just the values, if how many you own. The values, as far as we have seen, are all, again, very standard. Obviously in pounds instead of dollars, since it's the UK version, but it should mm -hmm. still be the sort of same amounts if you're in the UK and you have another version. So, yeah, pretty pretty bog standard. Yep. Um, again, this is definitely more one for if you live in the area, whether you've visited on a holiday or something like that. So, if you have either of those things apply to you, maybe let us know. Do you think this represents you well or not? I will say, um, quality and build-wise, it's quite nice. You've got the metal sort of container, all the nice sort you of mean things. the plastic yeah, container? Plastic. <laughs> yeah. Like the, the note separated. We opened up one um, Cash Dakota, uh, the new version of Cash Dakota or Cash Grab, or whatever, Crooked Cash, I think, in America. <laughs> and it was- I don't think any of that's quite right. One of the latest monopolies we opened, and it was missing pretty much all of this. It was all paper, and it was very difficult to store things. So it's nice it didn't seeing- didn't have the, the divider no. right yet, because so nice... they're kind of trying to get rid of plastic in the newer ones. So yeah, I mean, you know, it's your nice sort of standard layout, I think, is the point you're trying to make. <laughs> that's exactly the point, because <laughs> yeah. me good with words. Yeah, sure. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section down below, does this represent your area well? If you have been here or lived there, hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every single Tuesday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.